in order to purify the mind we have to guard the senses and guarding the senses means when we see an object we don't look at it and think about the pleasantness or the unpleasantness of what we see if we think about the pleasantness of what we see we are attracted to it automatically oh how beautiful this is and then we are attracted if we think about the unpleasantness of what we see oh how ugly this is then we are repelled by that the most important thing here is the way we think about what we see so instead of focusing our attention on what we see we withdraw the attention we withdraw the attention away from what we see or hear or smell or taste or touch if we withdraw our attention these unwanted emotional thoughts are not aroused that means the mind gets purified purifying the mind means avoiding the emotional thoughts but there is still a problem that remains you may be withdrawing your attention from what you see hear smell taste touch but memories come into your mind what you saw yesterday or day before or maybe last year when the memories come to the mind again you are emotionally aroused even if you practice guarding the senses still the memories begin to disturb you so when that happens what you do is you take your attention away from the memories also you have to train yourself to take your attention away from the memories now in both these practices what you are doing is taking your attention away from your senses and from your memories now when you take your attention away from these things where are you going to put your attention now the next step is to put your attention inside to look at your mind you begin to focus your attention inwards that focusing attention inwards is what is called satipatthana sati means attention and patthana is not really patthana it is upatthana is the rati upatthana that becomes satipatthana there upatthana means to focus it inwards 